Have you ever wondered how burning fields work? I have. So I'm going to do a video on it. Today, we're going to talk about burning fields. And the first thing we're going to look at right now is just how the burning field works according to Nexon and just give a general overview. To find burning fields, you have to be at maps that are level 100 and above. So if monsters are not level 100 and above, you might not be able to find a burning field. So in Sleepy Wood at Drake's, you probably can't find a burning field. Can't find it in Orient with the Samrats area. The EXP obviously is based on burning stage, which I think everybody knows, but here's an overview if you need it. So stage 1 to 10. Based on this, you get 10%, 20%, all the way up to 100% burning field. Next one does mention that if you consistently hunt on the burning field, the burning stage will go down as time passes and eventually it becomes a normal field. And some zones obviously cannot become burning fields, such as special maps or whatever party plus maps. Based on this, the burning stage usually goes down. I, I want to say usually, I think more likely than not, but almost always. The burning field stage goes down every 15 minutes. So as long as you're hunting on the map for 15 minutes, it will go down and drop a stage. So it'll go from 100 to 90. If it's a 90, it'll go to 80 and yada, 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 you know, so on and so forth. But if you leave the burning field for a while and you come back, let's say a long time after the next day and nobody touches the, nobody touched the burning field because it's an un, not a popular map and nobody's been in there killing monsters, then the burning field will regenerate. So based on this patch notes, this is the version 165 patch notes. It mentions that burning field will rise the longer it was not visited. So back then there were only five levels of burning field. The higher the level, the higher the EXP, you know, same as before. Based on this, it's time vacant. So if the field is vacant for two hours, then you'll get 10% uh, of it back and it'll go back to the next stage. If it's vacant for four hours, it'll go to the stage afterwards. And eight hours is stage five and so on and so forth. Now, obviously this is somewhat dated of information because burning duration does not last for 10 minutes anymore. It lasts for 15 minutes and we have 10 levels of burning field instead of the previous five levels. In the recent V200 patch, uh, the Applied burning field average level will increase after the maintenance and it's somewhere between a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 10 levels. So after this maintenance, they changed the burning field and now it has a maximum of 10 levels as opposed to the previous level 5s that it had. And then based off of another guide I found just off of googling the burning fields, uh, again 10 to 100% EXP and this was written in December of 2020, so one year ago. So this guy basically explains what I've been telling you, which is they, the burning fields lose 10% every 15 minutes and regain 10% every hour of non-use. So I guess they did reduce the amount of time it takes to increase a stage because instead of having five levels of burning fields, we now have 10. So because of that, they've effectively reduced the amount of time that you need a field to be vacant for the burning to go back up. Keep in mind that the burning field counter is not based off of you, it is based off of the map. So let's say somebody was hunting in the map 15 minutes or actually let's say 8 minutes before you got there. And then once you get there, you hunt for it, let's say 7 minutes and the field will drop. It's not after 15 minutes since you got there that it'll drop, it's after 15 minutes since somebody has touched the field and started hunting mobs there. Now I did try just having my main AFK on a map and just have it AFK for an hour. And as long as nobody touches the field before you start AFKing there and nobody touched the field after, it basically will stay at whatever percentage you enter it at. So you can basically camp a map forever. And as long as nobody touches the field, it'll actually just stay at the amount that you expect it to and i think it does increase i'm not sure if it actually does go back up when you're on the field but i do know it doesn't go down one thing you can do to increase your burning field percentage is basically get a fire starter ring or buy fire starter ring casts 
So Firestore Ring essentially resets the burning to 100%, and the cooldown on it is 30 minutes. So Firestore Rings are around, right now, I think 1.6k to 1.9k uh, in terms of USD value. And it basically resets the burning to 100 and it has a cooldown of 30 minutes, which kind of corresponds with the burning of the burning field so you'll basically always be hunting at 80% and above but keep in mind that if you use the fire starter ring at the let's say 7 minute mark so in the previous example let's say somebody was hunting there for 7 minutes and then you use the fire starter ring on that map then the burning will drop in 8 minutes fire starter ring does not reset the timer for the burning field drop it only resets the burning to 100 so if you use the fire star ring cast seven minutes into somebody touching the field then the burning is going to drop in eight minutes so ideally you want to time it properly so that you use a fire star ring cast right as it drops or a little bit after because otherwise you kind of just wasted a cast but it's not only a huge deal and not the end of the world, but it's just something to keep in mind. So the Firestore Ring you can also obtain from Philo Books and Marvel as of right now. You can try to roll for one, but the chances of getting one is close to none. You will probably get eaten by an alligator alive while your mom is watching you before you actually get a Firestore Ring. And no, that is not really a joke because that's really how slim the chance is. Another thing to keep in mind is that Firestar Ring cooldown is affected by the Mercedes Legion Grid. The Mercedes Legion Grid gives a minus 4% uh, cooldown timer, I believe. It goes up or down depending on how high level your Mercedes is. I personally got my ring back when it was only worth 600. I bought it off of uh, one of the people that I knew. And I paid essentially mesos for it, so whatever the meso value of 600 was back then. So I got it at a decently uh, cheap price, I would say. Not really cheap, but I guess it's cheaper than, than now. I remember back in the day where these Firestar rings were basically really free, because there's one dude or a few dudes who were just mass duping these rings and you basically get so many Firestar rings for such a low cost. I think back then, uh, Firestar rings were worth anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks, and that was it. It was very easy, but back then, I, I didn't really see myself training or investing that much into the game, so I just never really bothered. But boy, if I was more knowledgeable and I could see the future back then, I would have definitely bought a bunch of Firestar rings for all my mules. And because I invested muscles into this ring, I basically had to sell Fire Starter Service to cover the cost that I put in to the ring. And I bought this ring about, I would say, a bit more than a year ago. Have I made money back on this ring? Yes, I have been keeping track. I have actually made, I think, my money back, but I think I sold a fest for basically a good amount of hours each day and having a fire star ring is kind of nice because i don't have to worry about finding fs and not being able to find fs when i train because i heard from my friends that it was hard to find fs when you're training at very weird times obviously frenzy can be a bit challenging sometimes as well but you know fire star service is something i don't want to worry about and I think I bought this when I was at level 260, so I used it for a good 10 levels, and I do plan to hit 275 eventually. So I think I'll probably, just from using it, I'll make, I think, at least 25% of the money back, if not more, since each cast of Fire Star Service is 35 to 40 mil right now in Barra. And also, another thing with Fire Star Service is it's no guarantee that the fire starter that is selling the service, so the fire starter guy that is selling the service, can reach the level of a map that you're at. So let's say if I'm at if I'm training at Hotel Arcus, I will need to find somebody who's able to access that map 
to use a Firestar Ring cast on it. And that's not always possible, especially with newer maps now, because a lot of Firestarter people don't train that high level. And sometimes they do, but you know, I just don't want to go through the burden of finding it. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful. And I hope you guys have a little bit of insight into how burning fields work and how Firestar rings work. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.